this year I had a skiing accident following which I had to have a knee surgery here in Switzerland. This whole experience immersed me into the fun world of health insurances, doctor's appointments and invoices that followed all of my medical treatments. Today I'd like to sum up all the medical costs that I have encountered so far. I'm hoping that this video will not only satisfy your curiosity, but will also give you a good indication of how much you might expect to pay for various medical treatments in Switzerland. Despite the fact that I had an accident, because I'm not employed, all the healthcare I received was treated under the rules of basic health insurance. This means that we had to pay the deductible, the co-payments and anything else that was not covered under the basic health insurance. I talked about the topic of accident insurance and how it works in Switzerland in more detail in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here and also in the description box below. Even though my operation was five months ago, well, the time really flies, doesn't it? I'm still recovering, I'm still having sessions with my physio, as well as appointments with my knee surgeon. However, I have finally exceeded the excess and the co-payments on my insurance, which is why I thought it's a good point to look back at all the costs that we have encountered so far and make this video. A quick note about my insurance plan, since this is something that will affect how much you pay for your medical treatments. This year I took out the basic and the accident insurance from Hilsana, with the lowest excess possible, which is 300 francs. However, with this low excess, that means that you pay more every month, so my monthly premium is 447 francs. If this insurance had a deductible of 2,500 francs, which is the highest excess or deductible franchise, whatever you call it, that you can have, that means that the monthly payments would be around 330 francs, which as you can see is quite a bit less. But looking back at it, it was quite lucky that this year my excess was 300 francs, because if it was, say, Two and a half thousand francs, we would have had to pay a bigger amount outright before the insurance kicked in. Before we move on to the cost of my accident, I'd like to quickly explain to you how they are calculated. Medical treatments and any other healthcare costs in Switzerland are priced based on TAMED tariff. Each procedure, each treatment is given a value in tariff points and this value is the same across the whole of Switzerland. However, each point is then given a price and this price varies depending on the canton. So, for example, if you get treated in Vaud, because the price per point is higher, you could end up paying more for your treatment than, say, for example, if you got the same thing done in Lucerne. What's also interesting is that if after your doctor's appointment you get the invoice sent directly to you, you'll be able to see the breakdown of all the different procedures, all the different parts of the appointment the doctor charged you for. So in that way, the system's actually quite transparent. And now let's talk about the costs of my accident. Rather than talking about different expenses separately, I've actually split them into different groups. I'll tell you all the costs as well as whether insurance paid for them or not. And at the end, I'll tell you the sum of all my medical expenses and how much of it we actually had to pay for. Starting with transport, and here I had two costs. One of them was for the sled that took me from the slope where I fell down to the bottom of the slope, and that was 260 francs. And then also so I was taking from the bottom of the slope to the hospital in a special like medical taxi, I would call it, and that was 80 francs. And as I have previously mentioned in the accident insurance video, the transport costs for me were not covered in full, they were only covered at 50% by the insurance company. Next are the family doctor's appointments, and I had three of them. In total, they came to 182 francs. Normally, GP appointments are about 15 to 20 minutes here in Switzerland, and uh, the average price, I would say, is around 50 francs, and those are fully covered by the insurance. Next are the scans, so I had one MRI for my knee, which was 395 francs, and this is also fully covered by the insurance. Next are the specialist appointments. So these are normally all the doctors which are not your family doctors. And our friends have warned us before that specialist appointments could be quite expensive. So I was quite curious to see how they compare to the normal family doctor's appointments. And I would say that yes, they can be more expensive, but also it depends a lot on the type of specialist that you see. 
Overall, I had six appointments with a knee specialist and one appointment with an anesthesiologist, and in total that all came to 718 francs. The cost of individual appointments varied between 60 francs and 150 francs, and I would say the time of the appointments varied anywhere between 5 minutes and 40 minutes, and all these appointments were fully covered by the insurance. Before having my operation, I had to have a COVID test done and that was 123 francs. And what I was surprised about was that the insurance covered it in full without asking for any deductible or any co-payments at all. I'm not sure if this is somehow subsidized by the Swiss government because I know that obviously the vaccines are and some of the testing was as well. Maybe it was, maybe it was not, but yeah, I didn't have to pay anything for that at all. Next is the operation, which will be the most expensive part of this whole video. So what I had was called an ACL reconstruction surgery. I stayed in a hospital for two nights, so three days. And all of that in total was 3,930 francs. Within that amount, there is a fixed hospital fee that is charged directly to the patient, so it doesn't get covered at all by the insurance, which is 15 francs per day. But then the rest of it, so the operation and then the hospital care, is all covered by the insurance. Next group of expenses are the pharmacy expenses and I had quite a few of them. Mainly there were painkillers and also some blood thinners which are actually quite expensive. In total that all came to 362 francs. I've also learned that not all prescriptions are covered by insurance. Some of them are covered by basic insurance, some of them are only covered by supplementary insurance and some of them are not covered by any insurance at all. But most of the time the pharmacist should tell you whether the medicines you are buying will be covered by basic insurance or not. So apparently many gels and creams are not actually covered by basic insurance and for me I got prescribed one of those it was a gel for helping with reducing bruising because I had really really bad bruising on my leg and that cost 50 francs and it did not get covered by the insurance. Next is physio and I already had 23 physio sessions which in total came to 1,226 francs. If you're getting physio on prescription each session will last 25 minutes and for me the average price worked out to be about 53 francs per session. A standard prescription is given for 9 physio sessions and you can renew that two times so you can have 3 prescriptions in total and if you still need physio after that you will need to ask your doctor for a sort of a permission to renew it again. Next is wheelchair rental. Obviously when I had my accident I suddenly wasn't able to move much, I wasn't able to go places and just enjoy Switzerland and Mike suggested that maybe we can rent a wheelchair and that was a really good idea but then we discovered that it was really difficult to find a place that would rent you a wheelchair. They were all selling them but not actually renting them out but then eventually we found somewhere in La Chaux-de-Fonds which is a little distance away from Nishta that would rent you a wheelchair. And I got a prescription from my doctor for this chair. And because I had this prescription, I had an impression that this would be paid for by insurance. But that wasn't quite the case. In total, we had the wheelchair for four months and that cost 265 francs. And when I submitted the refund requests to my insurance company, they actually declined it. So then I called them up to try to figure out what's the matter and they said that normally the basic insurance does not cover any mobility aids. But then the guy that I spoke to suggested that maybe if I apply for the invalidity insurance, I can get the cost covered through that. And if they reject me, then I can apply again back <laughs> into my insurance company and then the insurance company will then cover this cost. So anyway, I went through this whole process, I applied for the invalidity insurance, obviously they rejected me and then I called up my health insurance company and said hey I've done everything you told me to do and then a different person basically told me that whatever I was told before was not true and they never cover the mobility aid costs on the basic insurance. It's only covered on the supplementary insurance which I don't have. So these 265 francs that we paid will not get reimbursed to us. And the last group of expenses are from the hospital that I got taken to after my accident. There I had some checks by a doctor, I had an x-ray, some medicines given to me, crutches and a brace. And I have not heard from this hospital yet. I have not received an invoice, my insurance company hasn't received anything. So I don't really know what's going on there, but I'm sure they will want some money. So chase either me or the insurance company, so we'll see what happens there. 
So that was it for all the different costs that were associated with me having an accident here in Switzerland. And now let's look at the total. So the grand total comes to 7,000 452 francs. Of that, 6,386 was paid by my insurance and 1,156 francs were paid by us. And that included things like deductible, co-payments and any other costs that were not covered by the health insurance. And although 1,000 francs doesn't seem like that much to pay for all the different treatments and the operation that I had, and it's true, that's not a lot, I'd like to just remind you that obviously every person in Switzerland has to pay the monthly premiums on the mandatory basic health insurance and for me that was 447 francs so if you just multiply that by the amount of months we've had this year already which is eight months that was already three and a half thousand francs that had to be paid towards the health insurance these were all my medical expenses for my accident so far I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful or at least entertaining. Let me know what you thought of these numbers. Were you shocked by any of them? Were you totally expecting these kind of numbers? Make sure you comment that down below. Also make sure you like this video if you liked it and see you in the next video next week. Bye!